Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sintitar Fragrance Channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I do review fragrances, colognes, perfumes, and all things scent related for y'all. So today we're going to be jumping into the house of Posey. Have you heard about Posey? Do you like indie fragrances? Do you know what indie fragrances are? If you don't know what indie fragrances are, that means independent brands. It means that they don't have really a corporation. Uh, they don't have a large business structure. They're usually made in-house, sometimes literally made in somebody's house. So these brands are very creative, uh, very unique, very personal fragrances. And um, it's really fun to go out there and find these brands and see what they're cooking up. Uh, what kind of fragrances they got going on. So let's talk about this brand. I have an example of just about everything that uh, Posey offers, but I did pay for all these with my own money in full disclosure. Um, so I had to put all that out there. Uh, first off, we're going to talk about their oils. Before I even talk about any of the fragrances, y'all know about oils. They can last a long time. They don't project as much, but they really can add to the intrigue. They really can uh, really add to your character when you start having a conversation with somebody and somebody is able to detect a great artistic, uh, uh, interesting fragrance on you. It really adds to your personality. And when people kind of walk past you, they kind of detect that there's something different about you and there's a different smell about you. Uh, you know, fragrance oils can be really great and they're amazing for layering as well. So, of course, there's different fragrances for everybody. Uh, with a spray, you spread it over your body. The alcohol helps it evaporate, and it's spread on your body, so there's more surface area. So, with a spray, of course, you get a lot more projection. Anyways, let's talk about these oils. Uh, Posey, Whisper Your Bitter Things is probably my favorite from the whole brand and the, first, the whole collection as a whole. Um, I really do like this brand. Um, this one has a lot of coffee to it. It has some a lot of tobacco. Um, some vanilla. It has a lot of interesting herbaceous nuances. Uh, really complex, really well blended stuff. It smells beautiful. To me, this is a, a great alternative, a distant cousin to something like Tobacco Vani. Um, again, y'all know that I'm not the biggest fan of Tobacco Vani, and I don't want to rag or put down on it. But if you want something for a lot less money, uh, something that I think that smells better composed, more artistic, more creative, uh, Whisper Your Better Things is a dream come true. I always wanted to enjoy something like that, something that has had a lot of dark nuances, a lot of complexity with some spices, and uh, of course the, uh, the coffee. Uh, but by golly, this is a really well-made fragrance. One of, the, one of the favorites, really my favorite out of the whole collection. It has a, definitely a rebellious side to it. It has a story. And uh, definitely look into all the stories inside this brand. If y'all don't know, Posey means a collection or just a group of uh, poems. Uh, sometimes it's used to tell a story like a collection of uh, ongoing poems. And uh, I think this brand is perfectly named because each fragrance is a poem. Each fragrance tells a story. Uh, so let's jump to the next one. The next one is Shy Ghost. This is from their Halloween collection. Yes, they have collections based on seasons and holidays. Now, if you haven't seen this fragrance or heard about it, it is more of a simple vanillic fragrance, um, but it has a lot of sour nuances. It smells a lot like Gaia wood or Palo Santo to my nose. And interesting, uh, not overtly sweet, not overtly simple vanilla. It's, uh, quite, it can seem quite simple. It can seem like there's not a lot going on in this fragrance, but there is. There's a lot going into this fragrance. Underneath... Uh, underneath the uh, canvas and the and the body of the fragrance really supporting this van vanilla and making it quite uh, innocent but uh, charming vanilla so this could be worn every day I think that this could be easily layered but it has a lot of character to it I've really grown to love shy ghost um, I don't like purely vanilla fragrances as a guy um, I don't like this I don't feel like I'm a macho guy but sometimes you know I like more masculine fragrances and um, Shy Ghost is still wearable by me, but it uh, is about the most uh, wearable uh, vanilla, just purely kind of vanilla fragrance that I've ever come across. But it's a charmer. It's easy to wear. Um, a great vanilla fragrance, but it's just not as sweet. It's not a sweet bomb like some vanillas are. Um, the next one is called Wicked Ghost. Now, this is the other Halloween collection fragrance I have. Um, this one has a lot of vanilla as well. It has a lot of those cloudy facets, that transparency, that musk like the other one had. Um, but this Wicked Ghost has a little bit more of a gourmet nuance. It's a little bit sweeter, but it does have smoke. So it's called Wicked Ghost because it's tantalizing, smoky, 
and very interesting. But again, this is one of the more simple of the of the fragrances from the house. The Shy Ghost and the Wicked Ghost are some of the most easy to understand. Some of the most easy ones to wear, but they're quite nice, and I really do enjoy them. Wicked Ghost also can be perfectly layered, just like Shy Ghost with other fragrances. Um, the next one is called Withering Heights. Now, if you haven't heard about this brand, uh, this this fragrance from this brand, you got to try this one out. This one has a lot of basil, and uh, it's, it's an apple fragrance. But this is kind of like an angry orchard. Um, this is kind of like a an apple uh, gone bad, kind of gone wild. Um, this is not like any other apple fragrance that you've smelled. Honestly, I've always wanted a good apple fragrance. Um, everybody knows about Hugo Boss Bottled. Their apple cinnamon fragrances are classy and great, easy to wear. But I've always wanted an apple fragrance that was a little bit more complex, a little bit more daring, had a little bit more of an edge, told a better story, lasted longer. Um, this has it all. This is a winner of a fragrance. Uh, Withering Heights is, uh, again, perfectly unisex. Uh, but, again, all these fragrances are just great. Um, I love Withering Heights as well. Check it out if you've been wanting a great apple fragrance. With the herbaceous nuances, uh, with with that signature touch that Posey really does very well. Um, the next one is Eggnog Noel. Now, if you haven't checked this one out, I really do encourage y'all to. This one's great. I really do enjoy this fragrance. Um, this is one of the gifts, and this does capture the smell of eggnog quite well. It smells milky and custardy and full-bodied, and um, very well-done fragrance. I've never encountered a fragrance that really captured eggnog so well. Um, Noel, of course, y'all know that means like a song. Um, and there's a lot, there's a story even behind all these words. Look into the word of Noel. Look into the story of Noel. What does the word mean? Where does it come from? Uh, let me grab the last one for you. But again, eggnog Noel is perfect for a gift. I think that that one is perhaps a lady would like eggnog Noel a lot more. It's a little bit more sweet, a little bit more vanillic. And, um, it's, it's just a really playful fragrance. Easy to wear for a lady. And that one definitely is a gift. The next one is Madar. This one is one of the ones I didn't buy initially, but I had to go back and I had to buy this one. Um, and I'm looking forward to Posey's creations in the future. This one swept me off my feet. This one blew me away. Uh, this one is called Madar. Now, this one has rice, rice pudding, uh, beautiful milky accords. Um, it does not exactly have a custardy quality. But if you've ever had tapioca, if you've ever had really, uh, really, really high creamy rice pudding with the, the small amount of cinnamon and spices, this one is the more, most uh, gourmet out of the collection. It does use saffron in a really nice way. And if saffron is used uh, well or artistically in a fragrance in the right way, uh, it's, it, it gets me just almost every time. I love saffron in a fragrance. Uh, Posi Madar is a really nice fragrance. And um, if you're a gourmet lover, um, you know, do yourself a favor and get this fragrance. I don't think you'd be disappointed. It's very well done. Uh, Madar is a great creation. One of my favorite gourmet, most one of my most favorite gourmet fragrances I've ever tried out of a brand. Um, so let's talk about some of the other things that Posey offers. And again, some of these are Christmas gifts. Um, the they offer these uh, this body whip. This isn't the same as a body lotion. Uh, a lotion is really meant to uh, like protect the skin and uh, you know add um, you know hydration. This uh, body whip more just adds hydration and scent. It doesn't really add a layer or really uh, protect the skin particularly. Um, these fragrances really do go into the skin quite quickly. There's no residue. And uh, for some people, that can actually be a big plus. I didn't know that body whips like this really existed, but I've never really been into lotion because I don't like the greasy residue. I don't like the weight of it on my skin. And um, honestly, these body whips... Are a really pleasant thing the scent in them is is quite subtle it's not the loudest scent ever but it really does add a little bit of a very nice kind of like skin uh scent very very close to the skin not overbearing you might look at this brand and you might say that these this this uh this brand isn't very expensive uh, especially with something like this with their body whip 
but you're getting good quality, um, no doubt about it. And the, the fragrance and the scent isn't overtly loud, and it doesn't smell synthetic to my nose at all. Um, so don't be afraid of anything like this. Um, again, this is a gift. This is Eggnog Noel, is, uh, again, a very nice uh, take on a kind of a vanilla fragrance. Gorgeous stuff. The weather's picking up, so maybe I need to hurry up this video. Um, anyways, the next one, I got a little candle. These are about seven bucks. Very charming, very nice, uh, beautiful little uh, candles here. This one's about seven bucks. This one's called Pemberley Park. Um, this one's really nice. It's kind of nostalgic. It smells like a park uh, with maybe some old fruit. Uh, you walk past a trash can in the best, best possible way. Um, you walk past, you know, uh, a park that's used with all those scents that can be in a park. Um, and, of course, there's like an, there's an orchard. Of course, they got to throw in some really nice, uh, authentic, like, dried fruits. Like, fruit that uh, started to go bad on the ground. It's a little bit dry. It has all these interesting nuances. It reminds me of newspaper and uh, caramel corn in a really odd way. Uh, so this fragrance can be, again, all of these can be nostalgic. All these fragrances and all these things tell a story. The next one I have to share with you all is one of the things they offer is, uh, you know, body mist or just uh, room mist. Now, these are very affordable uh, for what you're getting. This is four ounces and these don't cost very much at all. Um, the scent, again, is quite light. Um, it can seem uh, quite transparent. It can kind of has a... Um, I think it's called hydrosol feel and if you've never looked into how they extract uh, extract essential oils this does have a hydrosol type, type of feel to it and I actually kind of like that um, so it's very light it's transparent it adds a little bit of this aqua watery feel but this one I chose is called Beth and um, trust me guys and gals this one is a very playful feminine uh, fragrance I haven't sprayed it yet but Beth and uh, Eggnog Noel are about the most feminine and the girly of the collection that I've tried and some of their best. Uh, this uh, is very nice for when you want to go to sleep um, and you want something that's not going to be overbearing. It's going to add to your experience, uh, you know, your rest, you know, maybe your meditation. Maybe you want to just refresh in your room up with a very nice uh, smell that's not overbearing and has quite a nice, uh, almost natural feel to the fragrance. Um, and I, I think that those are a great option. Anyways, this is the, the whole range. Uh, just an example of just about everything that they have. Um, these are the oils that I bought and really stood out to me. Um, they have a lot more fragrances. They have a lot more to explore. And I have individual reviews coming of these uh, oils I bought and uh, individual samples in the future. So thank you all so much for being here. I think this is a great gift guide. If you want something artistic, something fun, something different for your lady um, out there, maybe your mom, hint, hint, wink, wink. Um, I think that this would do you very well. I think that this is a good brand. I think it's very well done. And I think that you should give them a chance. Um, again, I'm not paid or sponsored by them in any way. Thank you all so much for being here today. This is the Scentadar Fragrance Channel. If you enjoy my content, if you enjoyed my uh, video today, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share the video. And um, all those great things. I appreciate y'all. We're wrapping up. We're getting close to the holidays. Um, I need to talk about more about holiday fragrances, maybe more about winter fragrances. And I hope y'all forgive me for that. But I'll see y'all next time. This is the Scentadar Fragrance Channel. Wear what you love. Let me know if you like this brand. Have you heard about this brand? And I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one. Peace out. Have a good weekend. Be safe, guys. And bye.